Techlash is a phrase that you're hearing more and more in the media. It's the backlash against the world's largest and most profitable tech companies, the FANGs, Facebook, Apple, Amazon, Netflix, and Google. These companies have been in the news recently, and in particular, Facebook has been facing pressure over the scandal that it leaked information on 50 million users to Cambridge Analytica, and that that information was then used to manipulate the U.S. 2016 presidential results. Today, most of Americans get their news from social media. If you look here, you can see that about two-thirds of Americans are using social media platforms like Facebook, Twitter, and Google as their main news source. Why is this a problem? Well, if you look at the rise of fake news and platform technologies, they're intricately connected. A recent study by MIT found that fake news was about 70% more likely to be shared than real news. Of course, friends and family are looking at posts, they're perhaps passing on fake news, and that's reinforcing existing biases, which of course plays into the idea of election manipulation. The problem of fake news and social media platform usage has become an issue for liberal democracy. If you look at the most recent Edelman Trust Barometer, you can see that trust in liberal democracies where there is more social media usage has been falling. And ironically, trust in autocracies like China uh, and some of the Arab states is actually rising. This has presented a big challenge that's going to continue to keep the Facebook Cambridge Analytica scandal in the news. And it's even prompted a movement, hashtag delete Facebook. The majority of Americans now believe that the fangs need tighter regulation, so watch this space.